Hi, today I will show you how to install Bitcoin on any Debian based Linux distribution, including any flavor of Ubuntu and Linux Mint. What you are seeing is a fresh install of Ubuntu on a virtual machine. The same instructions will work for a remote server you access through SSH. The requirements for Bitcoin are simple. Most of what you need is already installed. We will pull up Bitcoin Wiki that is available on its GitHub page to check the required dependencies. On the Wiki, we see that we need Node.js, NPM, Python, Node.gyp, and G++. Python and G++ are already installed, so we will skip them. I will install Node.js and NPM following the instructions on their website. Don't forget to use sudo or to log in as root to use the apt-get command. When the installation process is over, you can check Node.js and NPM have been correctly installed using the command Node.js-v and NPM-v. The last requirement for Bitcoin is Node.gyp. We will install it using apt-get by typing sudo apt-get install Node.gyp. We are now ready to install Bitcoin. The installation command shown on the GitHub wiki need to be executed as root. If you use sudo, you need to add the unsafe perm argument to the command, otherwise the installation will fail. Bitcoin is now installed and available to all users of your system. To test it, you can type the command Bitcoin. Bitcoin will start searching for peers and begin the initial block download which can take several days. You can add the dash dash daemon to the command to have Bitcoin silently download the blockchain in the background. Bitcoin is storing its data in an hidden folder named .bitcoin in your home directory. You can see it by typing ls-al. Inside of the directory, you will find the blockchain database. This is where you will put your configuration file if you wish. However, it is not present at the moment. On the GitHub wiki, you will find a section about all configuration options that are available to you. At the end of the page, you will find a default configuration file. This is the one I'm going to be using today. I will copy and paste that example into a file named bitcoin.conf in the .bitcoin directory. Now that Bitcoin is configured to suit your need, we will restart it in the background and check that everything is working OK. When Bitcoin is running in the background, you can use the command Bitcoin CLI followed by the command you want to send to the node. You can use the help command to see what is available to you. As you can see here, my node is online and it's downloading the blockchain at the moment. There is another way to check if your node is available to the rest of the world. You can use a third-party service run by 21.co. Uh, the service is available at bitnodes.21.co. At the end of the page, there is an area where you can search for your IP address and port.
As you can see, my node is indeed reachable to the outside world and it confirms I'm running the latest version of Bcoin. Hopefully this installation guide was helpful to you and I hope you have fun with Bitcoins.